Hello, I'm our Facts of Mars, and I'm going to try to make the case that we are possibly under attack by beings from outer space. I know that sounds ridiculous, but bear with me. Now, we're going to move fast, so this isn't going to be slow. I'm going to be moving from one source to the next. Boom, 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 boom. First thing is, give me the background. H.G. Wells, author H.G. Wells, uh, created the story of the War of the Worlds, where Mars attacks the Earth with heat rays. And this is the uh, 1953 version, which is far superior to the other one and they, they made in 2005. He came up with this science fiction scenario where the Earth was attacked, and the heat rays burn people, they burn buildings, so on and so forth. Okay, science fiction. But let's look at some things that are going on in the world. First thing is an increase in space radiation is being talked about. Uh, we're being bombarded. Yeah, like from where though? Well, I can answer that. Uh, well, these people are admitting that there's an increase in space radiation, and it's getting worse as time goes on. And part of this is the sun isn't deflecting uh, space cosmic rays like it should be because it's in a quiet phase. So... Now we're going to look at a star that's 10,000 light years away. And they say maybe frying, helping to fry this uh, planet. Superstar E. Eta Carini shoots cosmic rays. This is a binary system. And according to what I'm hearing is it's really landing on this planet. And it's 10,000 light years away. God only knows what we have closer than that. I'd never heard of it until I heard about it from somebody on YouTube. I forget what his name is. Anyway. That's an aside. That would be a natural thing. But I think we're under attack by an unnatural source. Next thing is all the fires worldwide. This world is on fire, folks. And I don't think it has anything to do with CO2. How are all these fires getting started? Well, in my opinion, I think somebody's setting them. And they may not be from Earth. If you're going to attack the planet, wouldn't you do it from the safest position you could? And some places are too wet and cold to burn, like where I live. Although we haven't been cold, we have been wet to an extent. During this time period, there were 40,818 fire alerts. 28th July through 4th August. Unbelievable. Another issue of space junk falling from the sky, and they claim it's all from satellites. But I'm beginning to wonder, you know, let's suppose you did have battle out in space. Wouldn't it be, make sense that uh, the fragments of the spaceships would be falling from the sky? And here's the other thing. Is that when they do uh, fall from the sky... When they do explode, you wouldn't see it necessarily because the gases, there's no gas up on outer space, and it's the gases that heat up and fluoresce, and that's what you see when you see an explosion. There's no gas out in outer space, so you probably wouldn't even see them from Earth. You might see a heat signature, that would be about it. Again, heat waves, seas, 
Record high temperatures around the world this week. What's up with this? You expect it to be hot because it's summer. I don't think it has anything to do with CO2. I think we got another problem here. Like I said, my opinion is we may have an alien uh, force attacking this world. Setting fire to places and that type of thing. And I'm going to uh, give you the reason in just a short why I think this could be the case. Okay, remember this thing? Meteor made 2.1 kiloton explosion over Air Force Space Command Base, Thule, Greenland. Air Force Space Command Base. Unbelievable. Ah. Uh, to me, somebody fired a warning shot. That's what I'm thinking. I could be wrong. This is all speculation. Remember, this is speculation on my part. That's all it is. I think somebody fired a warning shot, to be honest with you. And now, for the coup de grace. President Trump directs the Defense, Defense Department to immediately begin the process of establishing Space Force as sixth military branch. So in other words, we're going to have fighters out in space. Do you need anything more than this? I mean, well, I've shown you a lot more than this, but do you need anything more? President Trump is directing the Pentagon to create a Space Force as 6th military branch. The President first floated the idea in March as part of the national security strategy. The White House Air Force and Secretary of Defense James Mattis disapproved of creating a 6th branch of the military last year. But somebody must have persuaded him. They want a space force with fighters like you see in the movies and so on and so forth. For what? Is it for fighting China? Or is it for fighting somebody else? I think it's for fighting somebody else, to be honest with you. I am hereby directing the Department of Defense and Pentagon to immediately begin the process necessary to establish space, space Force, a sixth branch of the Armed Forces, Trump said in, during a meeting of the National Space Council. Our destiny beyond Earth is not only a matter of national identity, but a matter of national security, Trump said. Now there you have it. This is my speculation. You can take it or leave it. But in my opinion, there's a possibility we are under attack from outer space. From creatures that are probably many times superior to us. But if you're going to commit an act of war, generally you try to do it where you uh, can at least be touched. And that's why uh, you take the high ground, you shoot an enemy below and that type of thing. So it could be. I think maybe we are under attack from outer space. Of course, they're not going to admit it. But when you have two kiloton blasts above one of our bases, you gotta take no. And they pretend like eh, nothing happened. You gotta take notice. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Take care or leave it. Thanks for watching.